Hey guys, it's Maddie. I'm here at the Lindsay Armories with the Kents. Hey. How are you guys doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So how did how did you guys get started? Like I know a couple of you guys went to high school together, so what kind of made the Kents the Kents? Yeah, we, we did start as a high school project uh, way back in the day, uh, but I think it was, so that was like the very start. Was a few of us went to high school together, but it was really um, working together to really try and be an actual band. That's kind of when Tanner came on board and we started actually, you know, leaving the Kawarthas to play shows and everything. So that was more of a, you know, serious thing. Once we saw Tanner and we saw the hat. Saw the hat? Yeah, we knew. <laughs> a selling point. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so being that you guys are like from the Portas and Lindsay is a small town, so what are kind of the struggles that you guys face being from a small town? There's not really yeah. a scene. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's also like a lot of upsides to it though. Like, yeah. it, it was very easy to like build a fan base. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's cool. Scene, yeah. The biggest. It, yeah, it goes both ways because people are really excited to rally around a band that's from their small town and be like, oh, like I know those guys are I saw them at a thing, and then the flip side is that there aren't as many opportunities to get practice playing shows, so for a young band that can be difficult, but when you're on the road, it's it's not uncommon for some somebody in Kingston or, or whatever, or even when we've been on the East Coast, to be like, I used to live in the Kawartha, so oh. I came here at night. Yeah, that's awesome. So are you, you guys finding a lot of the time that when you start playing more local shows, like you're seeing more familiar faces? Oh yeah, yeah for sure, yeah, definitely, I mean, within people that we, we knew growing up, but also just establishing relationships through music and being a band that's becoming more consistent. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so you have your EP out right now with the Waves. It's been out for a little while. Um, and there's a few songs on there that kind of are very personal. They touch on your family and like growing up. So is it kind of scary to like put some of those personal moments out there for everybody to hear? Yeah, sometimes it is. Um, I think that's a good thing though. Like I think when you when you feel like a little vulnerable or nervous about the content that you're sharing, it's like it means that you're writing about things that are close to you and important to you. And so when you're, I think when you're opening up to people on that level, like that's sometimes that gives you the best reaction. Like people are more often like, oh wow, like you're speaking about this. I relate to that directly. Like I experienced this, and it creates this kind of relationship with listeners that I think is more genuine. It actually, you know really dives into lyrics, and I think that's a very unique pro for that. For sure, I totally agree with that. So, another process, like the writing process, and like what would make your EP and what doesn't, like how do you guys make those decisions of what is the song that's going to be on there and what is it? Sometimes there are quite a few things. We, we like to go into like a recording process with more songs than we're planning on recording. And we like, I like to spend a lot of time workshopping them to like see what has the best potential and then we'll maybe we'll spend the most time on, on those songs and hope that they'll be good on record. Well they all sound good, the ones that made it. You're welcome. Um, so you guys do have that EP out, so is there going to be like a full album on the way? There's some stuff in the works for sure. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, we're going to be playing new songs for the foreseeable future, testing stuff out, getting that kind of live feel. So yeah, we're definitely, we got plans. We're working on music. So that must be exciting though, having to go from like the songs that you know and you're used to, to finally bringing out more songs and kind of surprising everybody with your content, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's like the best way for us to test out a song beyond just like what do the four of us think. It's how did that carry into a live setting? You know, were we able to connect with people and, and vibe with this music? when there were people there paying attention, you know? Yeah. I heard rumor has it you guys have a music video coming out. This is true. Wednesday. On, on Wednesday. Yeah. Can, are we allowed to know what song that's for? The only song on the EP that hasn't had anything special. Anything. Anything at all. All right, so that's a really big hint. So we released we like <laughs> two, two music, one music video from it. Yeah. One just as a single. Um, two as a single. <laughs> and then one with another with the audio, with the audio, the, audio yeah, so and the one song that's left is that we've done a little video for. It, so. That's gonna be exciting. I can't wait for that. Thank you. Can I you love guess? the hat. Can, you guess Can I guess? I don't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> that's okay. That's not nice. <laughs> that's true. Do your homework. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Have a great set. Thank you. Hey, we're the Kents, and you're watching Canadian Beats.